realm, there's a lot of lessons for business in adaptability. And businesses mostly acknowledge, yeah, we need to be more adaptable. Um, one of the things that businesses adamantly fight against, despite evidence the contrary, is redundancy. They love to get rid of redundancy, and they love to strive for efficiency and optimization. And um, I, I had a friend who made a small fortune selling motivational pins to companies that said 110%. It's like nothing in nature would survive if it operated at 110%. Even if it operates at 100%, you've got to operate just enough to get by. So there's this endless push for efficiency and optimization rather than redundancy. But if you look at some of the most successful companies, they use redundancy amazingly well. One example, Southwest Airlines. It has come from having three airplanes and virtually being sued out of business in Texas 30-some-odd um, years ago to becoming the number one air carrier in the United States. Southwest Airlines has one type of aircraft. They have 700 of the exact same aircraft. They use that redundancy. And it's not the most efficient way to do things because it's maybe not the perfect aircraft for every single route. But what they gain in the bigger picture is Every pilot knows how to fly every single plane. Every stewardess knows how to serve every single plane. Every baggage handler knows the exact best way to put in bags quickly on this plane. And when a plane breaks down at your gate, and there's a Southwest plane two gates down that isn't scheduled to take off for three hours, they pull that plane down to your gate, and you're on your way, and you're happy. Whereas Delta Airlines, which has 11 different planes, God forbid if you have the one Airbus at that airport and they've got to get a technician from France to fix that thing, you're screwed. You're not flying out of Atlanta that day. In fact, Southwest is so committed to this redundant operation that they just took over AirTrans and got 117 planes from AirTrans, but they weren't the same type as Southwest planes. And so Southwest said, hey, Delta, we know you like planes. We'll give you a real cheap price on these planes. And guess what? We'll even paint them in Delta colors for you. And it was like a Trojan horse they were giving Delta. They're like, we're going to make you even less responsive, because now you're going to have a 13th type of plane. So despite the fact that there are really good examples out there of really innovative, co innovative companies using this adaptability stuff, a lot of companies still maintain the idea that short-term efficiency is the way to go. Um, redundancy is not efficient at all but it gives you many long-term advantages. Another advantage for Southwest, they have Boeing aircraft's undivided attention. There are Southwest employees in the Boeing factory when a new version of the 737 comes out, and Southwest is saying, no, move that door here, move that service aisle here, do all this, and Boeing listens because Southwest is their number one customer. And they only built that up. They didn't have that when they had three Boeing aircraft, but now that they have 700, they have Boeing's ear.